in the West Division, a division that low key was pretty trash this season. Everyone yes. likes to to bang on the North Division and say the Leafs and Oilers were playing all these cupcake teams. The West Division, have you guys looked at the standings in the West Division? Bad. I mean, there are some brutal teams and you know, Colorado and Vegas and Minnesota beat up on all those teams this year. But Laporte, let's start things off with the Colorado Avalanche taking on the St. Louis Blues. So I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> I'm a Leaf fan. Obviously, I want the Leafs to win the Stanley Cup, and I think they're one of the elite teams in the league. But I think the Colorado Avalanche are the best team in the NHL. And that is not okay. just because they won the President's Trophy. You look at this team at five on five, they are absolutely ridiculous. Whether yeah. McKinnon is on the ice, off the ice, like this team has just been unbelievable all season at five on five. They got star power for days. You got McKinnon, Rantanen, Landis Cog, their secondary scoring with Kadri and Barakovsky. Their de- I'm in love with their decor. Kale McCarr, Sam Girard, Devin Taves, Bowen Byram. Like, I mean, this team... From top to bottom, I love the talent. I love the depth. There's there's some other guys that I didn't even mention at forward. And, and then you got Grubauer and Nett, who's been one of the best goalies in the NHL this season. And I think Colorado just absolutely annihilates the Blues in this year. Yeah. I, got, I got Avalanche in four. And I know okay. I've seen some models out there on Twitter, some of the stats guys tweeting out that the Avalanche are one of the biggest favorites of the last like decade of any first round series that we've seen, but okay. I think it's an absolute wrap. I think Colorado steamrolls past, past the blues in a sweep. Yeah. I have it the same. Like I'll pick, um, there's not much to talk about. Like you, you said it all, this lineup is just too much. They can kill you in so many ways. If they need goaltending, they have goaltending as hockey fans. We've been slapped in the face before when we're thinking that it is the year for a certain team. But right now, let's say it like it really does does feel like the year of the Colorado Avalanche, even though they went with blue pants, which is like yeah, I'm not a, a fan of that either. I, I go I back knew and you forth. weren't gonna like that. I, I go knew back Michael and forth. was gonna hate. Yeah, that. I go back and forth because I, I I chirp teams sometimes for like not taking enough risks. So like I do like when teams uh, do something different. But the blue pants, the, I, I'm still up in the air on that one. Oh, As I watch okay. them more in the playoffs, I'll let you know. Okay. But. You said this team's loaded. They can beat you so many ways. They're the favorite. I mean, they're the favorite to win the Stanley Cup. I'll say, can we even say anything about St. Louis? <laughs> I'll say, uh, I'll say Colorado in five in this one. We'll take, uh, we'll take the Avalanche okay. in five. Yeah. And just one thing, actually, a note to pass along about the Blues. David Perron, who was, I believe, it was their leading scorer. He has been placed on the COVID list. I saw that. Now, so that you that's it, a complete. Yeah nightmare for that blues team and listen like i mean the blues won the stanley cup recently we know that you know they know how to play playoff hockey but i mean it's it's just not their time against this avalanche team like this this team is just from top to bottom they're just so so good and yeah i'm just looking at the numbers here perron did lead the blues in scoring this year 58 points in 56 games And, and just looking at at the blues you know, in total, like they had a minus one goal differential this season. Yeah. Like they're coming into the playoffs as like one of the worst of the 16 teams, Lavore. So yeah, I, I just don't have a lot of confidence in this team right now. Um, Bennington hasn't played that well this season. So yeah, I mean, we're both on the same page there with Colorado. Yeah. Um, After Perron O'Reilly, it's like, you've had guys who've had like, okay seasons. Like, I mean, like Hoffman surprised people. He had a good season. Like they still have um, Braden Shen, but it's just the depth. Like you look at the, t- the totality of it. Like you never want to say there's no way, but if there's ever no chance, like yeah, we're getting there. We're, we sure yeah. are getting there with this series. Yeah. And especially the, the high end talent of Colorado, like just give me those, those top guns all day over these guys on the St. Louis blues. But I don't think there's any more to talk about there, Lapore. 